Police saying he took hostages, but nobody was injured. Jessica Saltz joins me now from Berlin. Jessica, what more can you tell us? Well, the Interior Minister of Hessen just spoke moments ago on the radio and he could confirm that this um, alleged attacker was, in fact, shot dead by police at the cinema complex in Fienheim. Uh, this man is said to have arrived shortly after 2.45 p.m. in Fienheim and walked into the cinema. According to eyewitnesses, he was holding a gun and shot four warning shots into the air. He was also wearing an ammunition belt. At this point, many people fled the cinema. The police were very quick to arrive to the scene. They arrived with vans and helicopters. Special forces were able to uh, overcome this, uh, this, shoot, uh, this, uh, this man and uh, shoot him on sight and kill him. Um, of course, news still coming out about uh, who exactly was inside the cinema, how many people were injured um, or not. Uh, according to the most uh, recent police reports, 25 people have been injured, um, and this by tear gas. Um, no news yet of any more uh, serious injuries coming out. But of course, this is completely unprecedented in Germany, um, completely unprecedented, especially in uh, central Germany, in, in Fienheim, which is a small, a sleepy industrial town of around 32,000 inhabitants, around 10 kilometers away from Mannheim. Um, so many questions to be asked, answered still about who this man exactly was, what his motive was, um, and why in this particular cinema complex. Um, and, of course, many people pointing out the fact that he was holding quite a large rifle and an ammunition belt, which would suggest that it was quite a larger weapon. Now, there are quite strict gun laws in Germany about uh, people being able to purchase and handle uh, larger weapons. So, again, many questions to be answered about how this man managed to get hold of this gun. Thanks very much for that update, Jessica. Jessica Saltz in Berlin.